Hello guys, you're watching JRTV live at you and we're going to talk about something uh, interesting today. It's the idea of what you consume. There are different methods to consume and different actions to take. You can repeat thoughts in your mind and in that way you're consuming an idea and materializing it into existence with Law of Attraction and Manifestation. I, I, want, I, want us, I want people to think of their, their mind as not being a memory, but being a machine that is a collective of habits and skills and information, both conscious and subconscious, and using it to uh, attract things in life, whether they want them or not. So... Even if you're a nice person, sometimes you might be attracting negative things or listening to negative people, and that's the thing. What can we do in order to, you know, consume? We, we can obviously eat. When, when you look at things, it program. Like if you look at, for example, if you look at overweight women, um, even though they might look attractive, they're actually not very healthy, and so won't be very. You know, it's not the most ideal type of, you know, situation, right? Like, it's, but it's going to program your mind to want, want them. And so the idea is, is to find, find, determine what you want and focus on that. It's just like the idea of, like, I used to protest certain churches that I disapproved of. And what occurred to me is that... It's more useful of my time. First of all, I should respect that even though I don't dis I agree with them on everything, at least they're quote unquote decent uh, society, you know, people who are, uh, uh, you know, part of the structure of society. And, you know, there are much worse people to hate on. But, but the reality is, is it's more useful for me to devote my energy to something that I'm, that means something to me that I, I believe in. So, for example, I'm, I'm, I've been. I featured these guys once. They're just people that have um, a chemical addiction. You know, there's behavioral addiction. There's chemical. Uh, you know, people even even hormones like that's chemical addiction. Like that's, that's, that's sex is a an exchange of drugs. It's not, you know, and it's something that you if you do with somebody, you you allow to, each other to have control over each other. So it's not the type of thing you want to just do with anyone but uh, all that all the um, the moral concepts aside uh, I just want to address these issues um, so you can you can consume foods and you can and you're, you're tasting you know there's also familiarity the element and so you want to get familiar with healthier foods that may require a bit cleanse or something uh, and then and then there's consuming. How else can we consume? Um, just by think, like I was saying, thinking and then regurgitating the thoughts. Like if you're if you're repeating them to yourself, um, and, and you know if you're listening to somebody, they could be negatively or positively programming you as well. And that's why it's useful that even with people you like, you might want to talk about random hobbies and stuff. But sometimes it's important to uh, program. Uh, each other in, in a positive way. Program yourself to, uh, you know, manifest things. Talk about your goals with people you like, not just random hobbies and miscellaneous and trivia, trivia type of information, uh, like sports or whatnot. So, issues on other issues on the table are, you know, what's the easiest thing to control? Well, you can control your thinking by. Uh, constantly getting in the habit of reacting in a positive way, saying that you know situations are imperfect. I'm imperfect. My body's imperfect, but I am powerful. I am all that is. I am pure. You know. And when you repeat those, like if you repeat that a hundred times, it has an, an influence on your psyche. Just just as if you repeat saying you're sick a hundred times, it also has an effect. So, you know, in in the context of this whole idea of globalization and COVID-19 being a, a, a conspiracy to, uh, to restrict uh, m more people from, you know, all, all this 
this uh, idea of um, shall we say restricting from 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 being able to you know, smaller businesses and restrict people to only use big businesses who can afford to get through this crisis. Uh, that idea is called centralization of power or globalization. It's a problem because borders and different currencies are actually useful because they decentralize power. Just like having more small stores, you know, and there are obviously there are benefits to bigger stores. It runs more efficiently. You can have a huge truck deliver a whole bunch of stuff instead of many small trucks for smaller stores, that type of thing. So there's issues in that, and then there's issues surrounding the idea of depopulation. Like, there's a positive way to do it. People have less children, which I actually heard, and they help out the less fortunate, you know, with, with, uh, with helping their children out or they instead of having children they invest in a couple who they find attractive uh, who they want to perpetuate the genetics you know um, and so the, the negative aspect of depopulation is obviously this idea of oh let's um, you know uh, let's let's use the virus or warfare or the virus being bio warfare let's use all of that to see if I can get this plane over here. There we go, there we go. Um, let's use that in order to target people or manage the world population. And you you know, it's all under the auspices of that these people will be like an oligarchy or elite and somehow they'll, they'll be, you know, they'll be uh, better, you know, or they'll win, quote unquote, they'll be the kings. But the reality is you can't be happy and enslaving things. Be it, people are animals. That's why I encourage people in the direction of veganism. Uh, bottom line is, let's do things sustainably, realistically. Uh, the whole idea of giving out money for everyone, what that does is it empowers poor, uh, incompetent, less in intelligent people to have children. And, and that's not what we want to do. You know, we want we and so money is a good thing in that way. I don't I don't like the idea of a cashless or uh, resource based economy. Even though it sounds good, it sounds good to oh we all have this many resources if we divide it up. The money is a slow moving system, complex of investments and things that people have and all types of op you know, operations and exchanges. And it allows for quick complex exchanges and it also allows for the responsible people in the world to have a to have strength because they have financial prudence and they they save they build up money wealth and even if they don't have that much money they still uh, are going in that direction and they might gain the respect garner the respect of people that you know have money so they'll invest in them in their businesses etc uh, just like it, maybe a poor student might get good grades, they're responsible, and then the, you know they get a grant or whatever it is, for example. But uh, these are just some general thoughts on the issues at hand. Uh, you know, we got addictions running people. Sometimes it's a good thing, you know. People go to a job every day because they like whatever types of addictions or whatever they consume, fancy dinners, vac vacations, whatever it is. But just to be conscious of these things, don't be... Don't feel obligated or compelled or forced by quote unquote societal norms or or cultural expectations uh, for for people to be you know on a certain level or or follow, following a certain uh, routine you know doing you know think for yourself write down your goals make time for them at this time of quote unquote so social isolation you know. People can finally do some introspection, and uh, if you have goals written down, if you have a schedule, guess what? People can't interfere with that. People cannot manipulate and seduce you because you have know what you want, and you're thinking about it every day, and you're you know writing down, and uh, you're uh, you're 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 journaling uh, your your progress and whatnot. So yeah, thanks for considering, guys, and uh, be free.
via responsibility, right? Aloha.